Hello, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory. Now, obviously, you're all thinking one thing. How come you're wearing a black t-shirt today, Lasty? Where's the white t-shirt gone? It's in the wash. No, <laughs> I've got like 15 white t-shirts that I chop and change. I prefer wearing them in videos, but today I'm just rocking a black t-shirt. Mad, right? Absolutely mad scene. So welcome to a new episode today. We're checking out the trade pile right now. Uh, sold some players from... The Russian league that I'd accumulated, the Portuguese league that I'd accumulated, uh, tried to continue to sell like the players that were of a high value from different leagues, and then like these uh, Sydney players for like the Del Piero and stuff like that. But having limited success with that, but my coin balance is looking really, really good right now. So happy with that. Uh, it goes up again a little bit later, you know, some other things sell. Bronze pack method, I imagine, is probably like a gold mine right now. Uh, although some of the Russian League players don't seem to be going for too much when I did a few bronze packs. You'll see that right now. I don't like to leave loads of bronze packs in here because obviously it's not the most interesting thing in the world. But you can see that we roughly started with 160 odd thousand coins and I'll probably whittle it down. When it's like that, I'll probably whittle it down to like 150k. Uh, and then stuff will be selling whilst I do that. And then I'll just try and sell on like any of the players that are, are currently of higher value. Everything else stuck in the club. Apart from like badges and kits, I don't care for them. They're getting discarded. Um, but any fitnesses, some contracts... All the healing cards, they're all going in the club because I'll definitely make use of them uh, for my players. Uh, so packs like that were actually really good where you get like a player from the Turkish League, a player from the Russian League, you know, like League SBC players. So normally they sell, I mean, even if they're 200, if you get a couple of them in a pack, you pay for the pack and then you get the consumables, right? So it's all good. Now I've fallen out of love with this particular team right here. Whether it be because I've been playing squad battles with it and squad battles are starting to like bore me a little bit. Um... Yeah, just just falling out of love with it. So it's time to move on. Uh, I sell Matweedy because he's still in form. Like, you actually get a good price for him. Uh, I made about 10k on him, which is pretty good. And then I just sell the other players on that I want to sell. Like Bellotti, Quadrado, Strokeman. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if I sold Kadira a while back. But if so, uh, if not, I sold him then as well. Uh... And it freed up a whole bunch of coins because I've decided that uh, it might be time to, to go to one main team, right? Uh, and use some of the players that we've loved and used for a while now. You know, a lot of the players that feature in this new squad are going to be ones from a current squad. So we're going with that Bundesliga triangle with the link to the goalkeeper. Uh, Jonathan Tarr, Weiser, and Goretzka. Uh, and then, of course, we have um, Farman in goal. I, I like to do that because, to be fair, they're, they're some of the best players on the game. Uh, some people have said upgrade the right centre-back and the right back, but I don't know who to because they're about as good as it gets. Like They, they work on the game, so I don't know who I could get instead of Tarr that would be better that isn't Jerome Boateng because obviously he costs a whole bunch. Um, and then I stick some more players into the team right here. You're seeing the likes of Koulibaly make his way into the squad because I really like him. With Bakayoko, Willian, Martial. So as you can see, Bakayoko's got enough chem there to to have like anyone next to him. And this was the plan, to, was to buy Gulam and then Hamshik because... Think of that midfield, really, really strong, right? And then, like, Inform Gulam looks amazing, and he's six foot two or something. And then Koulibaly alongside Jonathan Tarr, two of my favourites so far in the series. I, I feel like that could possibly work. Um, and as you can see, when stuff sells on, we're rocking with some pretty decent coins right now. Uh, 230k is roughly what we've got in the club. Obviously, 62k of that is Matweedy, uh, which was good because we managed to buy him for like 53. So we easily made our money back uh, with EA tax covered and then probably made 5k or something. It's probably not 10, like I said earlier. Uh, and then I'm buying some random players, including a duplicate farm. And why, why am I doing this? Obviously, I'm going down the route of uh, picking up some players or a specific player from an SBC. So uh, I found one of the cheaper squads that was currently like not going to cost way too much to do this SBC. Uh, and these 20 game loans for like the icons, thinking of even doing the player of the month Harry Kane uh, loan as well because... Like, he's a solid player, and for, it's going to cost me like 10k, I imagine, to, to get his his player of the month for 20 games. Like, I don't see how that's not good value. I know a lot of people hate loan players. On my main account, I'm kind of that guy that hates loan players. Uh, but on this account, we get to use some of the more elite people on the game for like... 
a, a snippet of time, but for not that many coins, I think it's a good idea. So we're going to get Del Piero today. We got Rui Costa in the last episode, uh, and this was the method that I went for anyone that's looking to do it. Had a couple other players in my club, really not that many. Um, but it doesn't matter. Like happy to get rid of any of those guys in order to secure myself a 92 rated Alessandro Del Piero. Uh, so should I get Kane? I've got Mane and I've not touched him yet. And Kane is someone that probably wouldn't necessarily fit into the team right away. Do I bother getting him? Do I waste the 10,000 or spend the 10,000? I don't want to call it a waste. Do I spend the 10,000 to 15,000 on getting him? Uh, I'm going to be using Del Piero. He is going to slot into that striker role in my new main team. So... I've got him for 20 games up front in the Prem. I could put anyone there. Literally, like, there's enough chem going around. As long as it's like a Premier League striker or an icon, we are absolutely good. Um, so that's who's going to go in the in the striker spot. And we're going to change things up formation-wise as well. Uh, by by Gulab. I then decide to make a shock purchase because I had enough coins left. And I go and buy Dries Mertens, the most expensive player on the road to glory so far. Over 150,000 coins on this player, 158k to be precise, plus the cost uh, of a center forward to cam card. And I've already got a C uh, CAM to CM, I think. Uh, but he's going to go in the center mid spot, which might seem weird, right? And I don't plan on playing a player like Mertens in my center mid. Uh, it's just not going to happen. I, I don't want to do that. Um, but you can see this is the new starting 11. This is my new team. Without spending a penny. I'm pretty proud of that. That's actually a really solid looking squad. Uh, Farman in goal. We could change him out along the way for someone like Leno. Uh, or Timo Horn who's supposed to be very good. Uh, Jonathan Tarr. Let me know if there's a, a German that would work that isn't Boateng. Uh, that's going to cost me loads. Koulibaly's just great. Gulam to me looks absolutely insane. Uh... Really, really looking forward to using him. Goretzka, yeah, he's got an inform, but he's super expensive. And I love this one. Bakayoko's a monster in midfield, so he's going to sit back for me. Um, and then we've got Dries Mertens, who's an 86-rated player coming into the road to glory here. 90 pace, 89 dribbling, 82 shooting. And you can see some of his in-game stats right now. 93 acceleration, some great dribbling and shooting stats right there. Uh, William's still on the right-hand side. He's one of the players that I'm sort of not 100% convinced about right now. But we'll probably get there. We'll, we'll figure out if we're going to keep him or not for, for now. Um, Martial and then, of course, Del Piero, whose in-game stats look absolutely awesome. Um, his, his, his shooting, passing, and dribbling stats are literally off the charts. And his pace isn't too bad either. So... That's the Road to Glory squad for right now. Uh, we still do have some players on the bench, I believe. Uh, they're not showing right now. I'm, I'm sure I'll put them in in just a, in, in a little while. Uh, but I've still got the likes of Hyung Min Sun in the club. Uh, I've still got Musa Dembele. I've still got Inform Arangis. Lots of good players. So I've got I've got some value still in the club. And I think at this point in time, we had like 35,000 coins left. After buying ourselves the Mertens and, and the rest of this team. Uh, this is how the team is going to play in-game, by the way. Switch it to that 4-2-3-1. I've decided, actually, that uh, Mertens will go striker. Martial out on the wide right. And then Del Piero at central cam. That was how I eventually figured it out. Because I want to make sure I use uh, Mertens as a striker. Uh, so that was a little bit wrong right there. So we've now got two teams. We've got this Premier League side. Oh, yeah. We've still got Aurier, Smalling, Rudiger, Danny Rose. Like, expensive, expensive players right there and of course 18 games left on Rui Costa um, but there is a lot of like duplicate players in that particular squad the Prem guys so Bakayoko, Martial, Willian all feature in that in the Prem squad as well so uh, they wouldn't get fitness but the idea is to really have one main squad which is this one uh, and then just another fun squad featuring the icon Rui Costa which I can use whenever I want at my own disposal whatever I want to do so we are in division, is it nine? I don't know. I think it is Division 9. Or I, I can't remember where we're currently up to. But it's time to go back into that. I want to test out this new squad. Try and get to grips with it for a couple of games. And, of course, we need to you know, start boosting our way up the divisions. First one we come up against is a false 9 team. Really strong-looking Serie A side. He's got the likes of Marquisio, uh, Insigne, I believe it was, out on the, on the left-hand side, who's supposed to be one of the quickest, most agile little players on this game. So definitely someone to... Uh, 
to watch out for. Now, this is exactly how I was playing my team. I hope you saw that right there. Del Piero central cam with Mertens. Pacey players out wide, but they're still cams in Willian and Martial. And to start with, things go quite well in terms of... Uh, well, we get a bit of luck. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's a bit weird. A little bit of goal line technology is used after this one, I'm afraid. Because Willian heads it in. I mean, it never comes out of the goal, I don't think. I think it always stays in there. So I'm not sure we, why we've used goal line technology yet. Yeah, it's over the line there. But literally, as soon as it goes past him, it stays in the back of the net. We do go 1-0 up in this game. Some great dribbling from Mertens. Willian on the ball. Plays it through to Mertens after some good hold-up play. And that is his first goal for our online club. Obviously, I've done a, done a little bit of squad battles in the background. You may have seen me tweeting at the weekend. Lots of family stuff, lots of friend stuff going on. Um, so, I, ha I just had to leave everything, which meant... Uh, squad battles even dipped I think, into gold uh, just because we were in elite. But once you stop playing, obviously, the, the leaderboards catch up. People play a lot of the weekends. So that's unfortunate. But we'll see where we come in in the next episode where we eventually ended up. Um, but we go 3-0 up here. And obviously, I'm still using my hashtag kits. Thanks again to Spencer for that. Uh, and I hope you had a good birthday, bro. All of that good stuff. Um but quite a convincing first half here. Mertens back to Del Piero. Del Piero bangs that one in the back of the net. That's a superb goal from the main man. Uh, he is here for 20 games only. But I want to get the most out of him whilst I can. Because I think he's going to be a lot of fun. Now, one thing for you guys to note. The icons that are returning that used to be legends. Wait, stop. Hold up. Look at this goal right there. Oh my god. Best goal I've scored on the road to glory so far. 100%. Del Piero literally rainbow flicks the defender and bangs it on his five-star weak foot left peg on the volley. Top bins. What a goal. Just an absolutely sublime finish. Uh, you don't get the best of replays. So the only other thing to do would be to replay that first actual goal in slow motion. He rainbow flicks the defender as he runs in for the tackle. The other defender starts running towards him, but he's already hit it. It's already in the back of the net. That is an absolutely fantastic goal. 5-0 uh, up at half time. So I'm convincingly winning. This team seems to be clicking for me. And to be fair, my opponent wasn't actually too bad on the ball. And, well, he, you know, has an, a, a solid enough team. He's got Marquisio, Insigne, a strong-looking Serie A side. Um, he pushes through and gets past my defense early doors in the second half. And I thought, oh, here we go. I can score five in one half. You're going to be able to do the same, aren't you, mate? And I, he gets one back straight away. Uh, maybe I was, like, sleeping or snoozing or something. Uh, but... We do concede, so I'm not playing against someone who's just, like, not playing, because, well, I think nowadays, if you stop playing and you put the controller down, you get booted from the servers, don't you? Or you get booted off the game, which is a good one for, for like, people just trying to waste time and stuff who don't want to quit. Uh, so we play it through to Mertens right here, play it out wide to Bakayoko, into Mertens again, loads of space in the box, and he's going to load driven that with his left foot, four-star weak foot on the guy, so I'm expecting to be able to score weak-footed shots from inside the box with that man, and... He's he's got another goal, you know. Uh, is it two or th I, c I think he's got two goals right now, and it's a battle of between him and and Del Piero. Who's going to get the hat trick first in this game? I don't know. Del Piero flicks it back to Mertens, and well, he's in the box. He's going to hit that shot, and it's going to go in the back of the net. So Mertens assists Del Piero to get the hat trick uh, just before he can actually receive it. But obviously, two goals for him and three goals from uh, for Del Piero, and two goals from other players in this squad is an incredibly positive start with this particular squad. Uh, and if this would have gone in, I just audaciously hit it. I thought it had gone in, but it hit the stanchion behind the goal. Uh, if that had gone in that might have beaten the rainbow flick to volley one just because hitting it on the volley from like a lob ball over that takes a lot more technique and skill uh, but yeah so straight up three and oh record in what i guess is division nine uh we've got one more we need one point to, to get promoted and then like four points or something to get uh, uh, the overall like winning of that division. And we go into another game, really strong looking side here. This guy's got the Prem team with uh, a defensive formation, uh, three great midfielders in Matic, Herrera and Bakayoko. And then that strike force of Son and Willian, we know what they can do. And apparently Maratta is dangerous in this game. So I start things off with some uh, one-two passing between Mertens and Del Piero. It eventually finds its way to Willian, who sticks that in the back of the net with some absolute class. 
class and style. And then he does the uh, hypnosis celebration on his teammates, which I, I still really like. I still think that's the best celebration they've added into FIFA this year. Um, it's just different. I don't know if that's based on anyone in real life doing it. If you guys know, let me know down below. Uh, that was a lot of O oh in, 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 in the words. But we're 1-0 up. Mertens pushes through, takes the shot. Uh, and I think it's going to go out for a corner, which we're going to play short to Mertens, whip it into the box. Uh, it drops to Goretzka. Goretzka is going to see Bakayoko on the edge of the box, who, for someone with like 40-something shooting, should not be scoring a worldie of a finesse shot from the edge of the box. I don't care who he is. Like, that should not be happening. Uh, I'll take it, though. It was a back flick or a back heel from Goretzka and I guess that shot wasn't in the middle of the it was in the middle of the goal but still you know you should be doing better as a goalkeeper and saving that one uh, Del Piero working his magic doing his best and actually this guy that I was playing against he just goes to head and quit uh, but Oisin I believe his name was or Oisin I'm not too sure uh, how you pronounce that but he did message me afterwards uh, and uh, you asked for a little shout out so thanks to thanks for playing bro I wish you would have stayed a little bit longer it would have been quite fun and who knows you could have got a goal like uh, my previous opponent did. But in the end, we, we end up winning that one 2-0. Or I guess, does it count as 3-0 if they rage quit? I'm not too sure. Um, but a great little start, actually, for our new dream team. Our new main squad. Del Piero on fire. Mertens on fire. Martial Willian backing things up. And then, of course, we've got Bakayoko and Goretzka. Goretzka's now playing in a deeper role. He's got the stats for it. And he's tall and stuff. I think he can do just fine there. Um, but, of course, with the main man doing the defensive midfield work is Bakayoko. Really, really solid player in this game. I like him a lot. And then my defense. I mean, Vice is quick and stuff, but he's not very strong. Uh, but Gulam, on the other hand, really strong. So he can almost help the centre-backs out quite a bit. And then, of course, I love farming in goal. He does a great job. So there you have it, guys. That is episode number 16 of The Road to Glory. If you have enjoyed, do me a favour. Smash a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hello if you are new from Matt's channel after we collabed at the weekend. It's great to have you on board. Hopefully you stay for a while and enjoy some of the content over here. Have a good one, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.